Good evening, everyone. Again, we want to welcome you to another edition of My Lutheran Connections. Today, we have with us in studio our ambassador, uh, Jerry Tablo, there is free time civil. Um, our only reverend cannot be with us today, along with our brother, Batam Ebel Lewali. But we have also the tough talking Josiah Jokai there in Danbury, Connecticut. Uh, we know that time is fast spent. We are going to go straight up to Connecticut, and our brother is going to lead our show today while we take care of some other issues in the back end. But again, brother Josiah and, and Ambassador, we want to welcome you to we want to welcome you to the show. Thank you, Willie. Thank you, thank you, Willie. Um, it's a great opportunity once again uh, to be here today. It's Sunday at this hour. It's always uh, your favorite show, my Lutheran Connections Online TV. Uh, today we have an interesting topic, an interesting topic. Uh, today we are having conversation with two former women leaders, um, Sis Annie Flomo and Sis Kopo Sele. Uh, as you may recall, uh, there was a convention that took place and elections was held for the women leadership and there were some issues re involving the election that the former bishop, Siangolo, had to intervene, and that caused some problems. Uh, so today, the church, under the leadership of uh, uh, Bishop Patmo, is striving to uh, reconcile the women since that incident. And uh, today, we have two of the women, uh, Sis Anning, and sis couple who are sitting with us uh, to talk about this issue. Uh, we will also give the same opportunity to the other women group, the other side, uh, to sit with us. But today we are having sis Annie and sis couple. Uh, so it's over to you there, Jerry. Today, interestingly, Jerry is going to get the ball rolling today. He's sitting there in Freetown, pretty seated. Uh, Ambassador Tablo is over to you. Thank you very much, uh, my brother uh, Josiah. And I also want to join you, Josiah, to say a very big thank you to, to Willie, who is behind the scene trying to address the technical issue. We want to apologize to our many viewers uh, for coming on late. Uh, technology was not too friendly with us, but uh, better late than never we are here. We also want to uh, welcome our guest, um, Sis Kopo Seli and uh, Madam Annie Flomo, uh, two former women leaders uh, of our church. Uh, today's topic is going to be very fascinating. As you may know, Josiah already gave the intro that there are some boarding issues uh, in the midst of our women auxiliary in the Lutheran church in Liberia. And uh, we want to unearth what actually the issues are. And of course, you know, my Lutheran Connection is the platform that discusses everything Lutheran uh, we secure the facts beyond emotions. And here today, we are not here for yes. We want to listen to both parties. Today, we have the party of Madam Annie Flomo and Kopo City. And subsequently, uh, holding everything constant, we will be also engaging the other side so that they can be able to give us their own side of the story. So we go directly uh, to... Our sister, uh, Annie Flomo, who is making her debut on the show. She's on the phone. And we want to say, uh, Madam Flomo, you are most welcome. Can you hear us? Hello, so Madam Flomo. Yes, I'm there. OK, go ahead. Yeah, she, she's on set. We are saying welcome to you. Can you give us a brief uh, rundown of yourself since you're making your debut on, on my Lutheran Connection tonight? Can you tell us who you are? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, and I will appreciate you using my middle name because the Lutheran Church in Liberia has hundreds of animals. But this Annie Flomo you are speaking with is Annie Markley Flomo. 
Well, understood. Uh, fair enough. So fair enough. So, can you tell us a bit about yourself, uh, Madam Annie Macklin Fumo? Thank you. So, I am Annie Macklin Fumo, a member of the Lutheran Church in Liberia. I became a member of the Lutheran Church from my infant, where I got baptized in the St. John Lutheran Church in Zozo as infant. Um, Educationally, I hold a BA degree in sociology from the University of Liberia and a BA degree in social work from the uh, AME University and a certificate in project planning and management from the LIPA. I also hold a certificate, pastoral and church leadership training from the Samaritan Press. I hold a certificate as a trained traditional birth attendant and I acquired a WIAC certificate and diploma from the St. Jane Kelly School in Danane, Ivory Coast. Uh, with my working experience, uh, I've worked as a humanitarian student in both public and private areas, uh, from the NGO cycle to governmental areas, where I serve in managerial positions in working with people both women, youth, and uh, men. Current. All right. Um, as we listen, we hope that we'll be able to get uh, Sis Annie McLean from the back on the on the on the show. Uh, as we said, we want Sis to apologize. Yes, yeah, uh, we'll we... is she on the? Okay, yes. Yeah. So you may continue, ma'am. Yeah, sorry. So we experiencing some fluctuation here. Um, I'm so sorry. Yeah, we understand. So Go ahead. Experience, my experience uh, in the Lutheran Church, I've worked with the Lutheran Church for so many years. Um, in refugee camp, I served as member of the lay reading book and uh, active youth member in the Lutheran refugee congregation in the Nani Africans when uh, Reverend Philip Nushan served as the youth leader at the time. When we crossed over to Liberia, I served in the Simak Lutri in Banga and uh, later moved to Lofa where I worked there and served the St. John Lutheran Church as secretary of the women. When I moved to Bonjaman, I was part of the Pentecostal Church. Uh, later on, we got to know that uh, Lutheran existed there before the war. Uh, we were four that initiated the process and were able to re-establish the Morris officer. That was Joseph Kofé, uh, Momba Golayon, Guru Kofé, and Annie Flomo. We established the Morris officer Lutheran Church where I also served and uh, acted as secretary there for the women. And later I had to transition to Morovia, where I I entered the St. Matthew Lutheran Church and uh, attended the choir. I stayed until I remained the vice president of the choir. Later I moved to Kowe. I served as the secretary and reactivated the women activity in the Kowe preaching point under the St. Peter Lutheran Church. And later I came back to St. Matthew where I served and later moved to, uh, but before coming to Morovia, when I came from Ivory Coast, I stayed in Ganta, and I was in the St. Emmanuel Lutheran Church where I served the, the choir, and also I served as the, the secretary of the, the Emmanuel uh, Lutheran Church choir. As a result of the war, we left with Kingdom Monrovia. I served in the St. Matthew Church. There I stay until currently, I serve as the uh, women president of the, the Simafi women. Work in the thank, you so thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Madam Annie. Thank you so thank you so Experience. thank you so very much, Madam Annie Matthew Flomo. Uh that is to tell our viewers that you are a, a born Lutheran and you may apparently stay in a Lutheran church that you depart us from, from the order of the part because we are all a, a, a born Lutheran. But I mean, this is to show how you are a bona fide Lutheran and want to say thank you so much for that. And before we go into the substantive, we want to switch over to our sister, Kapo. 
couple will be knowing you for some time, but uh, I'm not too sure we know you beyond your name. So can you just give us a small rundown who is Kopo and what role you play or you've been playing in the Lutheran church in uh, Liberia, especially the women auxiliary, Kopo. All right, thank you, Ambassador. I'm Kopo City from Banners Bay Parish. Since I got to know myself, I saw myself in that parish from my Sunday school days to the youth, to the women, and I'm still there. I serve as parish youth treasurer. From there, I went as parish youth president. Later on, I went as district youth president. And I became PR, that is a permanent representative for the National Lutheran Youth to the Library Council of Churches Youth Dex. Later, I served as treasurer for the Library Council of Churches Youth Dex. Um, I left a position in one age color with us. We graduated from the youth to the women department and where I served as general secretary for balance with women for six years. And I also served as planning committee chairperson for the Moravia District Women for two years. I planned two years convention for the women, and which were very successful. And later on, I became general secretary for the Moravia District Luchi Women, where I served for three years. Currently, I'm still working with the Banners with Women, where I'm serving as a uh, planning committee chairperson for Balance with the Trin Church Women Fellowship. So, that is couple. That is, that is the couple that we know now. You were able to give us some really good uh, rundown of your own role you play in the Lutheran Church in Liberia. Um, Kapo, um, I would just want to know from you before I go to Sis Annie McLean Flomo, um, what uh, has been your particular role when you were acting as the secretary to the Morovia district or, or Morovia district, uh, especially the women of Zorro, what has been your particular role uh, 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 in that? I know secretary, yeah, but secretary entails blah, 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 blah. Just, just give her a bit of rundown. All right. Well, I was serving as general secretary for the Morovia district. Uh, I did meetings for all of our emergency meeting, our regular meeting at convention. I take down meetings uh, in the absence of the president. Yes, I chair meeting many days. I led our women to national convention in the absence of our president when we went for them. I keep all of our records intact when I was with the district as president. I represented my president. In many occasions, I represented her at central office many times when there is meeting and she's unable, she will call me, my secretary, please represent me. And we have all of our record intact when it comes to the Moravia district women. All right. Thank you so much. Um, um, what is, if, is, is this Annie McLean Flomo staying on the line? Yes, she is, and uh, yeah, yes, she's, I'm yeah, she's awesome. on. She's good, on for good. Everyone. That's good. So before I go to um my brother Josiah Jokai for another round of questioning, um, Madam Flomo, we have listened to you. I mean, you actually have uh, rendered a great deal of your life and service to the church. Um, I would like to know from you. Uh, what is your impression now uh, as it relates to the uh, activities of, of women within the Lutheran Church uh, in Liberia? What's your impression of the women of Zolari? Well, first day, I must say that uh, the women of the Lutheran Church are unique people and they are united. They are people of their word. My impression is that the women stand for the truth and they always want to make sure that 
the church go spiritual and uh the function of the church should be separated from the the word it acts in terms of actions in terms of activities so my impression is that the women are strong and they are focused and their intent is that the ministry of christ move ahead and that more souls be won unto him so that's that's so that's your impression. The women are focused. Uh, they are very passionate about winning souls for Christ. And uh, uh, if that is the case, the women of late seems to be, especially of Zolary, seem to be divided. Isn't that the case? Can you can you win soul well, for Christ uh, when you eat deep division? So, uh, in terms of uh, my impression, I was looking at a positive. But yes, the, the, the women are divided. You are right because there were too many interferences in the women activities and women de decision. So uh, that has not in any way deterred the women. We remain focused and uh, we, we're going to fight to ensure that the, the right thing is done. Uh, we're going to ensure that uh, our mission are withheld because we know that in the Lutheran Church, we have three key pillows. And uh, we know that we cannot achieve those pillars in in me in a midst or amid division. So we are going to make sure as women to to be able to uphold the pride of the Lutheran Church in Liberia. So the division that is existing right now is is existing because it came from um, um, another force, though part of the Lutheran Church, but outside the exilary, uh, uh coupled with few women who could not maybe manage uh, 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 the leadership or the leadership skill and ability that they had to go astray or go the way it went and today they are division. But it can still be repaired once those who are supposed to do are doing the right thing. They are still hope that yes, they can still be united. If people start to leave their comfort zone and come up with the truth, and to see where uh, you know the reason for the church is laid, yes, the division cannot be anything. So the division that has this came from outside and entered the women. All right, that's 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 very uh, important statement you made. So that means the the division within the women uh, is as a result of external factor and not not internal factor. And, and 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 I would like to know uh, if you will, if you mind, can you please uh, just give us so we start getting to the substantive. Can you please give us some of the uh, 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 if there are names behind those external factors? Can you please give us some of the names and what role they play in dividing the women? Okay, thank you. And before I can go in depth of maybe some pauses. There are some key things I will want to, because I, I want to believe this, the entire talk show is about at the women convention, if I'm correct, right? The, the, yes, the, yes, the, yes, the, yes, we gradually, we yeah, gradually yeah, move to that. Yeah, yes. I mean, the women but it's good that we get a historicity before we proceed to the convention itself, but it's good we get a historicity. So we're setting the basis. So the, to set the best basis is to establish the division from the LTI incident. Yes, but Madam Annie, I mean, says, says yeah. Annie McLean Flomo, we are very, we are very meticulous the way in which we're asking, and we know why we're asking. Uh, we will get to the LTI, and uh, we got, we got a lot to discuss around that issue. But I'm saying you, you stated that we got some external factor. So, for getting to the LTI, can you please give us? If you, can you please attach names to the faces, to the external factors? If there, if their external factor exists, if they are in flesh and blood. Can you give us some names? Uh, if not, and you think we just proceed straight to the uh, LTI, then fine. But we'll get to the LTI. But you told us about external factors. We are keen to understanding and knowing who are those external factors or what are those external factors. So uh, the first the first thing is I said is external, though it is, I mean, the, the, it is part of the Lutheran Church, right? When I mean external, is not outside the LC but outside the women's gallery. Yeah. So the prime, the prime cause 
of the division among the women the, the, is, the, the, is instigated by our Bishop Emeritus, Bishop Jensen Seanglo. He is the brain behind the division that we are struggling today among the women. And the reason is that the, 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 mm -hmm. some years back, we started to experience this division at Phoebe when we went again to an election. Bishop Sianglo's interference in the women convention almost brought trouble. But we handled it professionally and thank God it was handled. We had our president and we all came by celebrating. It went worse because this uh, time around, it was interest-based in terms of a uh, woman leadership and that of the bishopric election. And no, Jerry, I'm sorry, Ambassador. I want to take this on it back to Phoebe. Sis Anne, I know you said there was an issue that evolved and it was resolved. You guys managed to resolve it. Uh, do you care to comment on that issue for the sake of the viewers? What was it? So when we went to PB that year, I may not be as like but in year, we all plan to, um, again, elect our leadership. And at the time, our sister Theodosia was contesting and our sister Catherine Bozzi was contesting. The conflict I was there was from majority of the St. Peter women, and the information was that uh, at that time, it was Theodosia's time to be the president, and sister Catherine Bozzi was imposed on them. So that, that brought conflict, and we remain composed, we remain very responsible in the campaign process. At the end of the day, Sister Theodosia won as president. That was resolved. But that hard feeling or that message that went around that Catherine was imposed, and if I just kept drinking from St. Matthew, it was because of conflict that Sister Catherine was imposed on the woman. It went on through all the life of that leadership, even though we we try to ignore it to, to, to move our work ahead. So at the end of the day, the enemy could not succeed. The women worked together in unity, and our activity was moving on fine. That was the beginning. Was there any specific group that the, the, the former bishop played in FDB crisis, in FDB situation? Time, I didn't get you well. Was there any specific uh, role that the bishop played in fueling the, the conflict at that time? Was he involved in any way, in any form yes. or manner? How? Yes. How? He said how? Yes. So... Okay. All right. And because of that fear and intimidation, the female bishop stay inside. Those days we were there until all the election activity were over. That was the first one. So the bishop says and then send mandate. And the mandate is, is implemented. Hello? Yeah, yeah go ahead, sis, Annie. Um, we have no challenge, but go ahead. Yeah, so that election was so tense, and most of the, the, the conflict that would have been held there, if it had been accepted, would have initiated from St. Peter, the St. Peter woman. You know, the church election, sometimes we forget that it is church. 
and people will, will take far to understand that they will forget that the the members are people of the same institution they are people of the same doctrine so you could see the division i was one of those at the table i want to volunteer myself because the politics want to understand that even those who were assigned at the table to to, to track record were no longer focused it was when i went to volunteer when theodosia came and then later she called saying yama boa to join me so we could do record but again i could not get nyama i had to do everything alone when i went after two years i was in lofa after two years before theodosia could call me to i will have record of phoebe uh activity i told her yes and i compare everything and send it to her so the tension came about because uh people from st peter thought that there was a force from st matthew that went to 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 to, to stop they are they are playing for for their leadership and that plan was only theodosia should be president at the time they say because it was theodosia's time no, so thank you i came from bishop office they also raised tension among the women there at phoebe that year so the tension i came from that phoebe was dragging among the women until we all rebuilt it because like i told you the women are focused people they are so unique and they are desperate to achieve the purpose of christianity so that that being the focus help us again to get back on course with our activity until when we went back in march last year to another election and any conflict wonderful so the the phoebe convention uh the conflict that evolved you as women your focus your step fastness and then your your commitment to church service help you people to reconcile and to reorganize yourself that is very good that's excellent uh, thank you for giving us that update from the yes. Phoebe Convention. From the Phoebe Convention, uh, folks, you are turned to my Lutheran Connections Online TV. We are in conversation with Sis Annie McLean Flomo, uh, a former women leader in the LCL, and Sis Koposile, a former women leader in the LCL. Uh, we've been talking around, uh, you know, some division that exists uh, within the Women Auxiliary, the National Women Auxiliary. And today we have these two former leaders here to help us understand uh, some of the issues, some of the circumstances, and some of the, the causes of those divisions. So uh, we've talked to Sis Annie a bit. Uh, from a general perspective, we will go to the specifics as it relates to the convention that was held last year at LTR in Lofa County at the National Women Convention. But let me turn to my own colleague, uh, who turned guest today. She's one of the co-hosts here at my Lutheran Connections Online TV. Sis Kapo Sile, it's a pleasure for me uh, to be interviewing you today. Uh, you are in the guest seat. And let me thank you for your service to the church. Uh, you are a committed Lutheran. You've worked very hard from all that you've done for us. We want to thank you for that. Uh, but let me start up this way. Uh, did you have a National Women Convention from March 17 to the 20th, 2022 at LTI in Lofa? Yes. Okay, so did you have an election there for a new women leadership? Yes. Can you give us your impression about that election's results? All right, before going to, to the convention at LTI, let me just say something what Annie left out for that Phoebe convention because our other Phoebe convention, another thing that she left out was the, the election commission was very uh, uh, frank. Yes, the, the election commission, they were focused. They held that election. And it, it was it was organized because the team was focused because they were never manipulated. Those who won, they were announced. Those who did not win, they were never announced. So that was one of the things that kept the peace among the women because the commission was focused. There was nothing that far play there. 
So I just want to add that to what she said from the Phoebe Convention. Back to the LTI Convention. I guess you are because saying that to set the stage to set the stage for your response uh, uh, regarding the LTI Convention, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. That Wonderful. was one of the things I kept the women together that make that the division, although there were little quarrel, but it did not extend because the commissioner was focused and whosoever won, it was given to them. But unlike LTI, my impression at LTI, like when we got at LTI, my home thinking was we have our election, whosoever will win. But I was pushing for my candidate to win. But then it was on the contrary. So my impression at LTI, it was very... It Who was, was your was candidate? A, it was not favorable at all. My candidate, Annie Macri Flomo. Who was your candidate? Was Annie oh, okay. Macri Flomo was my candidate. Yes. So the, my impression for that LTI convention, um, I had a bad impression because... The way in which the, the election was 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 organized, it was never organized as Christian women. Yes, I would say so because we from a church background, when we are doing things, we should think that we are doing it in the interest of the church. Our personal interest should not supersede the, our general interest. We have a common denominator. And our common denominator is LCL. So we shouldn't allow our personal feelings or our personal interest to supersede LCL interest. We went to election. We arrived at LTI. Everything was perfect. Our first day, our arrival day, our first day, our second day, we, it was okay. Only on Saturday, things decided to change, to change lately in the evening time. And when the commission was set up, when they came to give their um, photo education, and there were a lot of questions asked from our end. They came up with eligible photos. Who are those are eligible photos? And we asked a lot of questions. What is uh, the guide for this election? And they said the guide for the election was the constitution, the women constitution, and some other approved rules by the executive council of the women. So we said, okay, if it is the national, the, the national women constitution is our guide, then these eligible voters, these people that you listed, they are not eligible to vote because the constitution did not give them the right to vote. So the commission said, the commissioner said, the, the, the national office gave us uh, uh, an approved rule. They met and these things were agreed upon. They had a meeting. So we requested for the meeting minutes. We said, okay, but then can you people provide the meeting minutes that gave these people the right to vote? So they brought the meetings meeting, and this meeting was her was held uh in January 28th of February, around that time, and confession was in March. So when they read the meeting meetings and in that meetings, they said they decided that like, Queen should vote, advisor should vote, pastor wives should vote, and, and not yeah. So then we asked for the attendance of the meeting. When they brought the attendance of the meeting, we only had like one district president in that meeting. And the one district president, okay, two. The other one, the district president for Kakata, she's serving as the women desk coordinator. So automatically she will be part of that escort because she runs the day to day of the women. When we had a more of a district president, all a non district only had two district presidents. So we say, um, Madam, Madam President, then we never had a current to make such a crucial decision. So the, the commission said, but well, this lesson was given to us. Within that time, I think within that time, the bishop was around. Bishop around. And I have. 
Okay, that he listened to the argument on the floor. And he left there, he said that, he told the commissioner that we should go by the women's constitution. We should go by the constitution. Probably they called them, that I will, they called them and said, handle the election well and we should go by the constitution. But before then, the commissioner has put all the listing of the eligible voters. So when we, when we argue here on the floor and at the end of the day, we should agree that we go by our constitution. That is the queen, the advisor, the pastor, where none of them will vote. Besides committee heads, delegates from the various parishes, and delegate at large. And with your current queen, the current queen of the national or the current queen of the district, if your district gave you yeah, a delegate status, because all of the district as uh, leadership, they are delegates. So they had a, a delegate status. Then I think they gave one stop for each district. So it left for you to put your queen there or to give it to someone else. So we went for a break. So we went for a break. After the break, when we're going back in the hall, the election So, so Papo, I know, I know you gave us a complete rundown. I know you gave us a complete rundown, but it will be in the form of responding to our different questions. Uh, let me just ask, when the election commission uh, ad hoc commission published the list of eligible voters. What was the total number of eligible voters? Uh, it was around, I think, 208. If I make a mistake, it was around 408. 408? Uh, 400. Sister Annie McLean, do you remember the total yes. registered voters published by the commission? Yes. Uh, the total eligible voters published initially was 408 and the 408 was comprising the the uh queens the the, the, the unconstitutional you know voters so we we'll raised the issue and later on uh in Bishop's speech he advised that we go by the constitution so the number dropped to 369. so the second voter uh wrote our published for the election that was accepted and we went through with the election was 369. So it dropped from 408 to 369. So, uh, the election, so the election commission claimed that 304 persons voted, but actually 303 was shown on the record, showing an excess of one that they did not account for. That's what the report that I read says. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. I didn't get you well. Did they say? Sis Annie, sis Annie, you got 148 votes. Says Nyama Boa got 146 votes. You had an invalid vote of 10. That gives you 304. The commission contradicted its own report by saying that it had a total of 303. If you put all those three numbers together, we gave you 304, giving an excess vote of one. It was not accounted for. Is that information correct? That you got one for the eight votes and Yamabua got one for the six. Is that correct? Yes, the information is correct that uh, from the pre preliminary result that uh, got copied to was 148 to 146. But the total qualified voters, eligible voters, after cleaning the voter roll as per uh, uh, the constitution, was 369. Perfect. That was the number that had a vote. Perfect. But those who, took part, those who took part in the election are uh, only the one for the eight that voted for you, the one for the six that voted for Sis Nyama, and then the ten invalid votes. So that is it. Uh, so do, those were the votes cast. So it was a total of 304. That's what the report says, which we will go by. Yes. But here's my question, Sis Nyama. You yes. won the election by two votes. Why were you announced as the winner? So, uh, the other issue came, and in fact, that that has brought the conflict to 11 months now. Like what Papa rightly said, the reason why we were able to control the conflict from Phoebe was because there was some fair play. But uh, at LTR, there were too many uh, 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 mad practices, and the election commission proceeded wrongly because they had already taken side before getting there. 
The voting started from um, how did they take yeah, start? I want you to speak to that. How did the election commission take start? So because because of that, since they thought their their interest was never in the lead, so they created a condition to make it to appear that I mean there was some far play. So how can election commission complain that they were far play and they were the one in fact heading the election process? So no, question, since Annie, let's break a little bit. We're going yeah, too far. I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, uh, can you tell how Willie? Willie, to just slow down a little bit. Uh, she's, she's sorry. Yeah, she she she's hearing she's hearing us. Um, Very good, sis. Sis Annie, uh, delay, I want you to be specific. From her end, so we have to. Yeah, yeah, I want us to be specific. I don't want us to uh, to speculate. Uh, let's be specific. Uh, about how the elections commission, you know. Uh, caused the confusion, you know, how the talk side, according to you, the talk side. I just want you to be specific with that information because that's a great area that we need to clear. How did they take side? Can I, can I, can I, can I come into so, that? Uh, uh, the, the, the mm -hmm. We had election on um, the 19th of March. Mm -hmm. There's additional issues on the 18th. And it was ratified. They came out with a complete voter roll that we all accepted, a voter roll of 369 person. We accepted. We went to election. People went through the queue and voted. There was a stampede as a result of um, a shock that was caused in a building that caused disturbance. Mm -hmm. And Bishop again blessed the process, and we started all over. People went through the voting, they started, they counted the ballot paper. My observers informed me that whenever they counted and I was in the lead, the, the uh, Yama Boa team would say, no, they should recount. They will recount. When they recount, I will be in the lead and they will say, no, they should recount. When they recount, they counted more than five times recounting. But every time they recounted, I was in the lead. So at the end of the day, said they could not overturn anything was to refuse to sign uh, uh, the, the, the final result, according to my uh, observers. So when they refused us and come back, so when they came back, they all got ready and went back to sign. Nyama Boati refused to sign the final result. So I, I told my team, hey, say you already had this a preliminary result, they gave you a copy of it. Make sure you sign the final sign. If the other people don't sign, no problem. But make sure you sign. When they went back to sign, according to them, the election commission told them tomorrow morning, which was the 20th Sunday morning. So election commission did not compare the team in the hall to sign the final report because they knew what they wanted to do. We did not know their intent. They knew exactly what they wanted to do. So they refused that they both parties sign the final result for them to display. And I tell you, Josiah, now that, now that we were novice to the process, but we were calm because it was a church. Because under no condition, election will go on, you do the counting, you come up with the preliminary result. You refuse to 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 announce result. The next day Sunday, we went. We paraded. We went to the church. We passed resolution. Service started. We celebrated, hoping that that at the 12th that was inauguration were going to come to reality. We are certain service is going on. We have eating communion. They jump over everything only to say full of things. At the end of the day, I'm called Osa by uh, 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 Naomi Ford Wilson to appeal to me to accept that the open pool again for those who were omitted from the, the eligible, I mean, the, 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 the voter role to be allowed to vote. I said, but how can this be? Is that possible? Who were closed yesterday? We're talking about leadership. How can you say you open? He said, and then she said, but if you don't accept, nothing yeah. you can do. Yeah. 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 
thought that there should be election. I said, okay, who am I to, to change it? But on behalf of my team, and I said, we disagree that you, you carry on uh, election on Sunday today when election was closed yesterday. And that's how I went by in the hall. So it's something that they already planned and they have already conspired to do what they did. And, and they pretended that they did not know. So it was pre-planned by Theodosia and Comfort to carry the election the way they carry it. Which were portraits well, by Annie, Annie, thank you. Oh, so, Annie, thank you. Thank you for that for that for that update on that aspect of the conversation. Uh we will have to come to Sis Coco because the bishop name was mentioned. In fact, in the report, uh it is clearly stipulated that the women disrespected the bishop, his wife, and his guest. And yes. I do not know what point in time the bishop intervened that the results were withheld and were never announced. Sis Kopo, do you care to comment on that aspect of the whole saga? I care. A bishop intervention was when they, they jumped over the Aten 12 because Aten 12 was inauguration, induction of new code of officer. So, and one of the problem we had LTI the issue of food they used to keep the old man in hungry so within that time the the kitchen in the who got the tiny hall I think he went LTI the tiny hall in the area where they can pass the food so the old man they told they were hungry and they sit down when the people share the food the old man they were running for the food so it brought all that noise in the hall so everybody was like in the running up and running up and down and I had the other group say, we, we want at 10 12. But then Bishop took the flow. He went on the stand. And he said, please listen to me. Please listen to me. And so another women were on the other side running for the food. Another women were on the side. Bishop, we want at 10 12. We want at 10 12. So the whole hall got noisy. And I had the former women president, she was like, uh, talking to the group have it quiet have it quiet have it quiet but then her voice could not come also she was looking for the mica foam they were using to use it when she went to the, the, the general secretary she refused to get the lady the foam and i had the mica foam and she i mean she checked it and oh and i had the lady kept on talking to the old man have it quiet have it quiet and everybody very very uh go no everybody like like have it quiet the heart is noisy the heart is noisy bisha is speaking the heart is noisy and later on they went calm when a place went calm and how bisha decided to talk that from what what he saw the election result is nothing it just shows how the women are divided because of that he canceled the election result and how the whole play went why again and said no be sure no we want our result we want our result and so we want clarity we want clarity says couple the viewers want clarity it was the bishop who canceled the election result it was not the election commission it was the mm -hmm. bishop probably he spoke with them earlier i don't know but who announced alert, the cancellation who announced the cancellation bishop bishop was the one who canceled the election result and hey, 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 justification was he doesn't see anything. What he saw is division among the women because two votes is nothing. So I was like, so how many votes do you need to win an election before it becomes something? So everybody, for me, I was speechless. Complete hours, our early now was at our whole Sunday. So I was just like speechless in the hall. And I had when he made a pronouncement, I had he left the hall. So when we came back to town and they said we disrespected him and her wife and her guests, I was like, What did we do to Bishop? I think we should be mad at him because the fact that he canceled the women election while well, majority of the women has spoken and he canceled it. So we should be first with him. Now he should be first with us. Yeah, so that was okay. Thank you, Sis Kapo. Uh, folks, you are tuned to my Lutheran Connections online TV. We are in conversation with Sis Kapo Sele and Sis Annie McLean. Flomo, two women, 
two former women leaders of the Lutheran Church in Liberia. This is a, an incredible conversation today. A very interesting. We're trying to reconcile the women help in the process. Reconciliation uh, does not take place without discussing the issue, understanding the causes and the circumstances. That is why today they are here on my Lutheran Connections trying to unearth some of the things that the, the public does not know. And they are the best people to hear from. Like my colleague, Ambassador said, we are going to bring the other side here. Uh, we will work with them to decide the suitable time that it will be available to come for us to also hear from them to their side of the story. That will also help the leadership of the LCA in the ongoing reconciliation process. For now, we will go over to Freetown to my colleague, Jerry, who is pretty seated. He has some questions for our guests. Jerry, over to you. Thank you. Since Annie McLean Flomo. Can you just give us yeah. at least few names of those that were part of the uh, election commissions? Who are they? The election commission was headed by Comfort Freeman. Comfort Freeman, and who else? How many of them? Christina Pangma was a member of the election commission. One and Nora City. So, so there Sarah was, an was a member of the election commission. A, yeah, so there was an investigation conducted uh on the on the 28th of January. Uh and all of the investigation, the results states that um there was a meeting of, I understood that couple said the issue of quorum was a question, but it was a meeting held that uh, former queens or queens should, should vote, uh, pastor, pastor's wife should vote. Why did you people think that they shouldn't be eligible to vote? Why? Uh, Anybody uh, can answer, right? Uh, I need to go ahead. Uh, 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 Annie, go ahead. Annie, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 I'm trying to the uh, constitution now to read that part, so, but I cannot on it. The reason is You want this couple to come in so Annie can help us? Just couple, can come just, just couple, please. Just couple, please. On that question, uh, where did this help says I need to adjust? Let's go okay. take the question. Why are you people? Why are you people say that the queen should not participate? Says couple. Okay, you uh, can you go over your question? I said that there was a meeting. There was an investigation conducted on the 20th of January. And I see squarely that people laying the blame on the commissioners, the election commissioners. I mean, even the investigative report stated that the commissioners themselves had some problems in conducting the election. That is clear. My question to you is, uh, which is very critical here, is that um, you people were uh, referring to your constitution. And I think uh, in the constitution somewhere you talk about the past of why voting, the queens voting, or the fact that the queens bring in money uh, 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 to, to any of the convention. In fact, the leadership, the new leadership, live on that money until the next convention. So why you think that they should raise money for you, for example, the queen, but they shouldn't be eligible to vote? Why? And the pastors, why? Okay, that was the reason why we asked what were the guide of the uh, of the election, and they told us the guide of the election was the constitution, and there is nowhere in the constitution that says these people should vote. So our point was, if we want these people to vote, we should ensure it in the constitution. That it be in the constitution. That the constitution spell it out who to vote, even the issue of the advisors, all of the advisors from Moravia district. And we were discussing national election, national convention. You can have all of our advisor only for a district. Then you consider, uh, you consider it of it being national. 
that's not a national that was only of moravia district so our point was if we want a fasa to put that is going the constitution then the constitution will decide who are a fasa how can one become an fasa but all of these things are not spelled out then you say a fasa should vote okay i'm the president before we go for some kind of uh, convention for election, I can call some kind of meeting and then make 10 or 20 persons on the FASA and automatically are eligible to vote. So that was okay. our point of who we were speaking from. Okay, okay, okay. So, mm. so, so, okay. So, uh, uh, is this Annie still on the phone? Says Annie, are you there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. here. Says, says, says Annie McLean from. Uh, on the issue that the that, yeah. that, 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 that Josiah raised as it relates to your suspension uh, and couple of other individuals, um, um, they, 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 the Reverend Orita David, the Reverend Orita David lead a campaign for you put to this service? Were no. you guys knocking the pills and saying that you want a result and you don't want recount or relations? No. And this is so it, then, uh, my dear brother, you know. So if it didn't so if it didn't happen, I would give you a chance to explain the whole thing. So if it didn't happen, then why Ray Orita David uh, subjected herself to the to to to, to the to the penalties by, by writing and apologizing if she knew for the way that she was not entirely guilty of what happened. Uh so uh this is the thing, the painful part of the church. I mean, uh, and I'm glad that some days the truth will come out. It started coming out already. The first thing is, uh, I heard Josiah say, uh, that, you know, the queen raised money and the women will live on the money or they go to that. Was the that was scary. So that was scary. It, it, it does not give rise that everyone should vote, or else we will say anyone ever should vote because they can contribute to convention. So when we are talking about delicate election, this election should be guided by the constitution. When, when we are talking about you should vote because you're contributing, it means that it should not be delicate election. All the women should vote because all the women will send water, will send all the taxes that you, you think about to contribute to a convention. So it means that all the women should vote. We should not be selective. But if we said, according to the constitution, these are people who should vote. These are people who should make decisions on behalf of our body. Let's stick to it, no matter what the interest is. So where the error came from, because uh, Mother Theodosia Scott and others, including uh, majority of the, 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 the Yamabua, and you know, Friendship thought that they got majority of the queen. What made them to think that they uh, did not have queen also to vote for me? But what we were saying was we should stick to the constitution because we are the kind of group that that that, that we are sincere and we we are trustworthy people. We should not start to breach our own plans. We cannot say to these people, how can you call a meeting? You say you call executive meeting. When well, you only have one a district president, in fact, how will you say you call an executive meeting when all of the reports were submitted, including the, the National Women President report, should they not capture that you call an executive meeting until when I ask the question about who to vote? That when they say, oh, yes, yeah, sorry, we have a meeting, and they're looking for the meeting meeting all under the table. I say, can you bring the meeting meeting after president report? How can you make report and you know you had key meeting or executive meeting? It was not captured in your report. Then later you look at the meeting. Says Annie. Says Annie McLean Flomo. Uh have have yeah. have have these women voted before in end of election. The, the pastor's wife, the the the, the queen. Have they participated or voted before in end of elections? Have they? National election, yes. no. What happened was. What happened was, when we went to Moravia District, the same issue came up. So one of the past presidents said for the sake of peace, they should allow them to vote at the Moravia District. So they called that president. We have said, one district out of nine. 
So he cannot say because some Malikians can say let the district vote because it's president. No. Moreover, the district is not LCL woman. Moreover, the district is just one of the nine districts in the LCL where the women are. So that was the same thing they wanted to drag into a national decision. We said no. And that's how most of the time Moravia District have been operating the women. The thing that when they made decision on Moravia District, it must be forced on the other eight districts. The district got the district had 58 parishes. Out of the 58 parishes, Moravia District only got nine. Why were nine parishes made decision for? Uh, 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 50, 50, 49 parishes. We were saying, no, you can't call that president. The district decision cannot be president, uh, president for national, even though you, you using the same constitution. So there the whole issue came from. When we went to LCR, they brought that a, a, a meeting that you could tell that they themselves just sat out somewhere and wrote the meeting meeting. They said that there should be amendment in the constitution. The constitution should be amended and Queen Evansos, Pastor will be included to be given voting right. Okay. They brought it, they forced it, they brought it on the floor. They said we should vote. Good. Thirty of the women from Singapore voted against. They went and turned it around and said, the people said they voted for. The people, that brought again another issue. The people wrote. When the people wrote, they said, we did not vote for, we, we voted against. They said, no, your letter is late. They don't show up, come for, all of them refused. The simple river district will mean complain. So, okay. Now you say there should be amendment in the constitution. Good. The constitution said if there should be amendment, it means that you will have to go through the, the, the Constitution Committee to be able to do that. You come back to convention, you review it and pass it. So after that was that decision was made by them at the executive, the amendment should be made. They did not wait for the constitution to be amended. Instead, they included the woman name on a on a on a on a voter roll. So Bishop is that why he said no. In other words, in and more, we all go in the same way, but let's take down with this. The Constitution. That compared to come with the actual legal and we all accepted. We went with our number to election. The result. They counter it, they kept the result to themselves. So you cannot say it's a president at the district level for national happy. After before Bishop Sianglo could I mean, first time in our history, the woman history, to see Bishop to be with a woman up to 10, 11 was at LTR. Bishop was well, sitting says, I mean, what are you gonna do with the time the bishop stay with the women? He says, I mean, that one is hilarious. The bishop is a shepherd and says, Annie, what, what's wrong with you? The bishop, the bishop was still with the women. I'm not trying to his women. What? 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 They show the level of interest Bishop Siangro had in the women election this time around. That that hour, he was still sitting in the dark, <laughs> waiting for his son. No, no, no. 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 No, Says <laughs> Annie and, 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 and says Kopo, we want to thank you again very much for appearing. Um, I, I want to go to the constitution, you know, uh, because all the questions have been asked. I want to go to the constitution. I have a few questions here, and if they are constitutional, uh, one selection of the um of the advisors, um, is it like some agreement or it is constitutional that all former presidents uh advisors so i'm going to ask this question then before you can just you know make your um give your response because we have to go to another segment in our program now uh, so that's one it is not, it is not that all 
president I ever, so it is not constitutional. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to ask these three questions quick, then, then the both of you can just give your, your input quickly, then we can move to the next segment. So that's one. Two, the next, uh, uh, um, sis couple talk, uh, uh, said that um, Bishop, according to her, Bishop made a comment that two votes are nothing. So is there a constitutional provision, you know, from the women, you know, the, the, the constitutional provision uh, from the constitution governing the, um, the women, the women auxiliary that it has to be, for example, in the Republic of Liberia, we have 50 plus one vote. You have to have 50 plus one or a simple majority. So you can take note of those two questions. And then um, I have a next one here. It's a constitutional, and I'm hearing this, and, and, and it's a constitutional that only Monrovia district, or let, let me rephrase it. The president of the National Lutheran Youth, National Youth Women Fellowship, president of the National Lutheran Women Fellowship, should only come from Monrovia district, no other district. You have eight districts. Okay, constituting yes. the National Lutri Women Fellowship. You have eight districts. Is it constitutional that only Monrovia district the president should come from? So those are the three questions I have. Then once you guys give your responses, then we can go to our next segment. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, Wendy. Let me just come in before uh, Annie comes in. The issue of Monrovia district, there is no part of national constitution that says the national president can only come from our district. There is no part of the constitution. You know, our people, they are not reading the constitution. And I want, most of the time, our children, I can remind them, I can tell them, you read the constitution. They are not reading the constitution. There is no part of that constitution that says the national women president can only come from our district. There is no part of it. Because the constitution says the only thing the constitution gave specific about they said the vice president and the president cannot come from the same district so if the constitution says the vice president and the president cannot come from the same district then there is no way in the constitution that says the president can only come from our district because they would have said the vice president can can the vice president cannot come from our district if the constitution says the president can only come from our district. So there is no part of the constitution that says the president can only come from our district. Only the vice president, they said, the president and the vice president, they don't come from the same district. And you talk about, uh, what are other questions? Um, my, 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 yeah, go ahead, sis, yeah, go ahead, sis, Annie. Yeah. Yeah, just to add to that, the provision the constitution gave is that the national women president should reside in Morovia. Okay, meaning that after you are elected. That's it, yes. Okay, okay. So you mean if you are elected from a bon county, upper bon, you, you have to live in um Morovia. Morovia. Right, like, like in the case of our bishop, he he was staying in Phoebe in the bon, Banga area throughout. That's where he was assigned. Um, but when he got elected, he had to move to Monrovia. And and and, and where do you, where do you, yeah yeah go ahead. Mm -hmm. yes and this issue but one of the meetings surprised me they go on Saturday right when we had that, that meeting group one because they share the whole meeting into group group one group one had a national president it had a national general secretary but I been there where we looking were on our committee another person there were many on our committee I was surprised when our group came on with our findings to say because the national president can only come from moral district, so moral district can look within to have election among us. So mm. I was like, I told him, I said no, I said no. So I'm like, the president is there, the general secretary is there, and she doesn't know that the national the national president cannot only come from moral district, like misleading the people. Hmm. So I'm like, yeah, people are not reading. We got the constitution. We're not reading. You know, our own man. And I was saying the been that the people sent and the person that for since now the young people started getting involved, getting involved. So things people really even the issue of the constitution. You know, who brought the issue of the reading of the moral of the constitution? It was Annie. It was Annie. That happened. You saw people. People started buying this constitution. Like how we bought the constitution. I remember in one of our ESCO meetings, I asked that same question you asked. 
I said, is it is it that who ne a more district and national person can come from and all on it said no what I must say and opponent on track I said no 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 I said there is no part of the constitution that says only more of your district so that are please by our constitution and read it wow uh will it I have a question yeah. here from one of the prominent women can I please okay. ask the question I have it on yeah my go, phone ahead. go ahead ask your question yes and the person cannot come on, so that's why they're asking me to ask you and sis Annie. Here's the question. They say, yeah. um, they, they ask three questions, but uh, will they already ask those three questions? The fourth one is what I'm going to ask. Recently, the women were at a reconciliation gathering sponsored by the Trauma Healing Program. Can this platform tell us the result they get from that meeting that reconciliation meeting and how it impacted their decision to come to my Lutheran connections to with renew accusations that's what the person wants to know the you people have recent uh um uh you know discussion or it's gathering the, yeah, yeah. Or talks about this issue under the auspices of the trauma healing program and so then uh what motivated you to come to this platform with renewed accusations that's what the person wants to know but the first three questions that they want me to ask here were directly asked by willie so i'm not going to repeat them that's the fourth one i'm asking you you and annie anybody right. can go first okay let me let that let me answer that question we received a communication from bishop for me, I received my own director from Bishop's office that there will be a dialogue at at Simafim once so, so and so date. Who Bishop now? Because we talk about Bishop, Bishop, Pat, Bishop, 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 Bishop Patmo, Bishop Patmo, Mark letter came from Bishop's office. So we are expecting a meeting at Simafim, but then later the national the district president in our chat room came up. And said the meeting venue have been changed to LCR company. Then later on, Bishop came in. He said he only he closed with the authority to announce such a change in the in the venue. So he, he apologized that it is not because of anybody that the meeting venue was changed. It is because he will be having a work within a single bill, so he doesn't want to be far from it. So the meeting will be on LCR compound. So Saturday we went for the meeting. I went and made the meeting. When I went and made the meeting on and I asked my president if they had started, but then they were just doing the overview when they went for breakfast. So the facilitator, he said, oh, now we are about to go to business. And what I want us, I want people to, to, to talk. I want people to talk. Then he caught his head and said, but if everybody talk, we're not leave for years soon. Then just in that time, uh, the bishop in Meritus put his hand up. And he said, can we break the, the group, the, the whole, the participant into group so we can discuss? So we're well, like, uh, he agreed, the facilitator agreed. And he did like 10 10 person. Who was the facilitator? Uh, I, I, I don't know his name, I don't know but he was on the common healing prime. I don't know that face, I don't know that face. Probably he found it, but I don't know that face. About Bishop Eritus was the one dictating to him which which what should be done. He suggested that. Okay. And right. His suggestion was taken that okay. the group be divided into in in in, in the, 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 the participant be divided into group, and each person ten in one group, ten in one group, ten in one group. So I was in group two. So the question was, what is affecting the LCL? So I was like, ah, what is affecting the LCL? So I told my president, our group, I said, but then we will narrow it down with a women fellowship. So that 
we said while it's affecting the LCR in parenthesis, we had the National Women, the Women Fellowship. And there were a lot of things that were fled out from our group. We had breach of constitution, we had lack of law, we had not speaking the truth, we had institution wrong wrongful action against individuals within the fellowship. We had that we had about I think eleven counts. Our group now group two. Okay, we had 10 counts. So all of the group came on with different, different counts. And we submitted it to the facilitator. Then he took all of those papers and he took the similarity. Like if group one, group two, group three, they get about four or five person that says, um, breach of constitution, almost everybody carrying the same thing. Then we take that as a major point. So that was taken as a major count, the breach of constitution. Then some people came up and said, some people came up and said, travel lazy. Some people came up and said, transparency and accountability. So after all of these were listed again, the group went back to speak on this count that were listed. I hope you're getting it. All. Yeah, the we're getting a couple, back. but maybe you want to. <clears throat> yeah, oh, but maybe you want to paraphrase it. You wanna, you yeah, you want to kind of like <laughs> summarize it so that you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, it was soon end. The group yeah. went back. So all of those can they they, they they have one convention and its implication. So when we talk about convention implication, what can we do? So one of our account was to ensure that every convention in LCA is governed by the constitution and approved rules by executive council. That was one of our account on the convention and the implication. Then on the breach of constitution, we said that, that there be a constitution revision committee set up to review the constitution and thereafter an amendment be made within the constitution. That was part of our account. So after every, after everybody uh, went in a favorite group and they came out with different different um response to this to this count, we had someone will go, the secretary will go and read and everybody read what they had. And from there it was turned over to the facilitator. And the facilitator said, we must complete what we should completely i think we gave it to him so that become a recommendation and they said they were going to get back to us that where it ended so so uh, more or like i, yeah, I want to go ahead quickly. i want to follow quickly uh ambassador so they um the communication sent was it um dialogue among women was it specific to women or the communication was like for the entire else, did you expect seeing people from the men, women? Let's say seeing people from the men, the youth, and all other auxiliaries, and seeing the, the former bishop and the, the former GS and everybody, or you expected to have a, a, a women fellowship dialogue, like the administration having you know dialogue among women, especially I believe you'll be going to your next convention. Was that your expectation? They, they told us dialogue, but when we said we saw people there, so we 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 we, we consider it. We have other people there. We were in Tokba were there. We were looking were there. Former bishop were there. All of men were there. Bende Kapla were there. Other people were there. Right. So um, it's really, it really, it really was. It was really was not specific. I mean, let me just try to see if I can, I can, I can push it down. It really was not specific to the two parties coming right. together to reconcile. Later on, it took yeah. a broader perspective where you have other people, and the question then was. Um, uh, what, what, what we think can help the church to go to go to develop, and not really how can we reconcile ourselves before going to uh the next convention that should be held in this month? Uh, I, I said, my name, my name was, was that the situation? Did you attend? Was that the situation? No, I did not attend because uh, I received letter from uh. Bishop Padmo inviting me to uh, attend a dialogue that was planned for that day at St. Matthew. So I responded uh, 
the letter. I had not received. And I also appreciated him for the recognition, but I was engaged with a wedding, which I also attached the invitation to. And I I, I showed him that since the wedding was around uh, the same Bonafa end, I was going to make sure to attend a dialogue at St. Matthew. Only that the eve of the, 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 the two days to the dialogue day, it was posted in the district chat room that uh, the, the venue was changed. How could we have adjusted ourselves? In fact, that Saturday morning, over 100 women were at St. Matthew calling to know whether the, the, the meeting was going to be, the dialogue was going to be here. So the change in venue affected the, the process from my end. I could not attend at all. All right. Um, okay. Okay, so says Annie before 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 to recognize quickly our viewers, uh, this is a muffled. And I hope that this will prompt uh the, the Yama Boa side to, 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 to come out to to, to to say something about all of these issues that have been raised by the, the, the sis Anne McLean from uh, side. We believe that um, this is the opportunity that you will have for many of our viewers with the country and the country to understand what is causing the deep division amongst women and, and, and have a fair view on how we can be able to negotiate reconciliation if we need to have our our women moving moving forward. Uh, but lastly, I, I, before we start going now to uh, our viewers, I want to follow from you, uh, uh, Sister Annie Flum. Um, uh, are you still interested in participating in the forthcoming election and uh, a suspension uh, still persisting, uh, 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 so to speak. Uh, I just need to throw light on that. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, I must admit to you that uh, right now, the issue of election is not a matter with the national women. The key thing of focus now is reconciliation. So whether or not I have interest, the first thing is to build, again, to build the relationship among the, the women that came from outside and fall within. Because the conflict is still huge. Let me tell you, Josiah, the way in which the women convention went, it was like we were used as guinea pigs to implement any other thing that could bring conflict in the church. It was never fair. And I think if wherever Bishop Emeritus is, if he's listening, he owes a woman apology. Let me chase it or he leaves it. We went to convention. We have always been going to convention. We've been making decisions. The woman spoke. Majority of the women spoke. He canceled it using power. The daughter who did not know what approach to take, she was ready by that decision. Because we had election commission established, trusted, that started the process. And because, can you imagine Josiah when Bishop canceled the election, election commissioner were happy and celebrating. People dancing. You were given a task to implement. Then you are, are you are you serious? Are you are you are you kidding me? Election that was my was next question. Serious. That was my next question. The reaction serious. of the election commission. The reaction of the election commission yeah. was my next question. What? We shall go ahead. The women, including election commissioner member, were celebrating because. They were already in barrel with the next election. They have called us there. We were in service, the conducting election. You see a, a female pastor walking on a service to go and vote. Pastor while walking on a service to go and vote. Going in and out, going disrupting the service to go and vote. Wow. So it was just a blessing when Bishop Sienclo, but before he could, he could announce the, the, the notification, the, 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 the director at LTI at the time first came and said, you understand me? If you don't start the study, we can't start the election. We will, because it was already pre-discussed in their meeting. So the moment we 
Jesus, the uncle had our ground to cancel. All of them were, this one was All right, I, I think I think Annie, I think I think since Annie has has a break has a break in transmission, we'll, we'll get back to her. Uh, but but uh, really, uh, Joe, I think you saw something I posted there. So please try to to know. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So let really, yeah, we'll go ahead and play the ad and do the screen. When All we right. So back um, we're gonna hold. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do our, we're gonna do our ad. Really go ahead. Yeah. You know, we committed ourselves. Uh, since Annie want to say thank you. Um, we committed ourselves to um, assisting the International African Lutheran Conference. Uh, we're going to do our quick advertisement and we're going to um, recognize, uh, and then we will be recognizing our viewers. So uh, please just. Indeed, after many years of struggle, Jehovah has done it again. So the question is, uh, what is it that he has done this time? This time is the International African Lutheran Conference coming to Liberia. What a great news. African Lutheran from all walks of life across Africa, the United States, Canada, they will all be converging in Monrovia from April 22nd to 27th, 2023. It's going to be a great opportunity of immersive learning and sharing to strengthen our Lutheran faith. You can't afford to miss it. You haven't bought your ticket yet? Just contact the African Dex at the Evangelical Lutheran Church of America. By the way, this conference is jointly hosted by the Evangelical Lutheran Church of America and the Lutheran Church in Liberia. You can't afford to miss it. If you don't have any information about this conference yet, you can contact us, My Lutheran Connections Online TV. Talk to Jerry, Josiah, Reverend Yapazua, Willie Cowboy, Osses Koppel, or even Brother Abel Yawali and they will help you to get registered. It's my Lutheran Connections Online TV in collaboration with the planning committee of the International African Lutheran Conference coming to Liberia, and it's happening from April 22nd to 27th, 2023. I see you there. Yeah, that's the um, International African Lutheran Conference will be taking place in April, April 22nd to the 27th um, there in Monrovia, Liberia. We are glad that our church, the Lutheran Church in Liberia, will be hosting the um, conference. Uh, but as customary, we want to um, go quickly and recognize our viewers. Uh, we're going to try as much as possible. Um, uh, uh, since we Mother Victoria Victoria Nagbe Johnson want to welcome us. This is a, a, a regular viewer. Um, the Reverend Thomas Z. P. He's there in Banga Bon County. Um, says Zombie 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 Smith. <laughs> That's my sister there in Bannersville. Uh, my dear brother Zizi Roberts. Uh, uh, sister Catherine Catherine Quitty. Um, she's there from Matthews Lutheran Church. Um, the Vice President Larry Melin, Senior Brother, want to welcome you, um, and also we want to welcome we want to welcome um, the Ambassador uh, of the Lutheran Church in Liberia. That's how he called himself, the <laughs> Brother Roger Abin Kamu. Uh, she says, Katrin Gago, welcome." Uh, she said, "Why?" So um, we we are also going to like read out some of the questions. So sis Annie, sis couple, if you can please take note while we are recognizing our viewers. So sis Annie uh, has a question. She said, why should you, why should we bring our person external factor in the church matters? Okay. 
So maybe we're going to look at that another time. Uh, Sis Zombie will recognize you. want to also recognize um, Nolan Metzen. Uh, that's from our YouTube channel. want to recognize you. Sis Catherine Quitty is here. She made a comment. Um, Sis Molly Molva Kekula, you are there in Raw Island. Sis Famata Kia, um, thank you so much again. I uh, want to recognize Brother Jeremiah Gavlo. Um, we also want to recognize uh, to catch him. Okay, okay. So, um, Sis Catherine had a question. She said, um, too many, too many, many conflicting information. At what point did election commission took a decision that the queen advisors and pastor's wives were not allowed to vote after using four hours to vote and it was passed that they should vote. So um, that was that's from a sis Catherine. We want to recognize brother Julia, Julia Massaque. We want to recognize you. He's Sister present. Julia Massaque. Eh? Sister Julia Massaque. Oh, Sister Julia Massaque. Mm -hmm. you, you, you always try to catch me on something. But anyway, Sister Julia Massaque. <laughs> but she got a male the picture. Man saw, the man saw the male picture. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> brother Jerome, Jerome, I uh, know Judomu Kali, Judomu Kali. Um, Sunday School Department, we want to recognize, recognize you. Uh, we want to go down. Yes, you see, sis, uh, uh, Julia, she's, she's laughing. Okay. Uh, we don't see any question here. It said, who are they and who are the two persons? Um, yeah, Reverend Pitt is here. He wanted to clarify, saying that the guest was a facilitator invited by Trauma Healing. Uh, senior brother Koklo Yankwe, he said, I managed to get connected. I want to thank you for being with us today, sis Naomi Mondema Nya Miller. She's watching us from Mount Nimba. Thank you for being in service today. Bishop, okay. So Josiah, you see it right there. It's amended. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I need not to see anything. The ambassador right. already screened that. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Um, Melikpele K. Sumo. That's our father there in St. Louis, Missouri State. Yes. Right. Yeah. And um, a lot of people. Uh, Valentino Make Doma, watching from my residence in Fendel Me campus. Thank you so much. Okay, but Koklo Yankwe has a question. He said, why the pastor's wife's current and former queens and advisor denied to vote at that at that the LTI at the LTI convention, even though it was agreed that about four hours of deliberation by the convention to allow them to vote, as it was always done at every convention by the women. But anyway, you guys spoke to it earlier and you said that it, it had not happened if it did not happen at Phoebe. So I think, um, brother Kukli Yankwe, that the question has been answered. Um, sis, um Avina, patience in snow. Want to welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So yes, yeah, so um, that's it um for um, for our viewers. Sorry, those we could not, you know, uh, we, we we managed to recognize a lot of people. Uh, it was Catherine who announced the beating of Yama Baani. Oh, okay. All right. So um, so we're gonna go to a second yes, round. Really? Our second mm -hmm. round questioning. Sorry. Wait, wait. I just wanted to to to. So talk on Koklo question. Yeah. On what Koklo wrote. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. You get it, you mm -hmm. get you get you getting me? Okay. Yeah. He go said ahead. after for, I'm seeing he and he and Catherine, they asking almost the same question, right? After four hours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For God mm -hmm. in heaven's sake, after the four hours, mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. we agreed for these people to vote, why the election commission did not Maintain the first photo roll that we had. And you know, all of them were in the hall, they were quiet, and I probably knew what they were in me at. Who knew us were pushing constitutional matter? The whole Yama mm. side, everybody was pretty seated looking at us discussing the issue. Mm. Yeah. So if you knew you wanted these people to vote or the election commission think that it was a precedent set. Why they did not say, okay, we met in the 408 photo row and we we'll go through the election? Why they didn't say so? 
Okay, say they knew it was a prisoner. Okay, say they knew it was a prisoner set. While a national affair ran to have meeting quick quick before going to a national convention to come out with meanings to back then that these people supposed to vote. Say they know that prisoner. Why all of these things was done? You know, we in a church and we are not sincere to ourselves. Then we say we are church or we in church. Yeah, we should be frank. If they knew these people that these things are precedent and these people had to vote, okay, they shouldn't have canceled the 408 and registered the 360 now. Say my people, these people have been voting. Okay, I will go through the photo, I will go through it. But instead, they see they are voting in. They soon their money, then you say you have to tell them in election, which parallel voting, it can happen. Oh, wonderful. Okay, uh, so, 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 I know my colleagues will come in, uh, Willie and uh, Ambassador, but yeah. let me ask this question before I lose my thought. Uh, I saw a comment from six uh, Victoria Johnson, one of our regular followers. Um, yeah, let, let, and, I, I will go back to her. Uh, which comment is that? Victoria, since Victoria Johnson has actually, uh, you know, uh, posted so many valuable comments in there. I, I hope we will take time uh, to go back and, and show some of them. The question. Let, 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 me, mean, let me go back. I can share some some of the comments that she she, she has there. Uh, she told us there was right, but I pick a one. I pick a one, Willie, and I want to ask about that. She said okay, Catherine, Catherine was the one who announced the beating of Nyama by Annie. First, I want to know whether or not Annie, in fact, beat Nyama. Was that true? Did Annie beat Nyama and who Catherine? Uh, says Victoria Johnson talking about. That's my question to you, couple, and um, um, sis Annie. That night. Mm -hmm. That night, because I was not, I was not around the whole, right? And like I said, I was not well. But then they were in there is why they accused where we were far from that whole scene. I think you know LTI like old school. As soon as you turn right, the plum tree right on on there. That where Reverend Darius was sitting there too out. The only time Reverend Darius entered that hall, when all of the candidates, those who are running, they went to give that platform, they went to speak to the conventioners. That was the only time before Sunday now. That was the only time when there is into that hall. So that night, I decided to go sit with Raymond. All right, when you're talking after 11, when there is an hour sitting on the plum tree. Yes, this couple and but, but this this somebody actually beat somebody there. And yeah, beat no, somebody no, 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 Papa says oh, Annie wants to speak to that. Yeah, I would, I would, I wish you there. So, <laughs> so I, I would, Annie, let me talk. Our advisor we have, our observer, she's a, she's a marriage queen, so she left principal. So she, we're not even getting her, you know, for in the hall, what's going on? So I was there, I said to her, I said, right, but we're here in no sound. I had Jerome King running, Jerome Cody. Jerome said, but couple, you hear the news? I said, well, I said, Annie, Lily, Annie, born, your man, two foot. Then I said, who you heard it from? He said, I just heard it from Catherine. She was calling someone. And even the dean, the dean, dean Jala went in water in bus and congratulated water. He said, congratulations on your, your candidate one. Even when we pay, when we pay, can admit it. When we pay, associate pastor called him and told him that we lost the election. That when we pay, he, he did not receive call. Yeah? Let they say it. So why would we be in a church and be acting as if to say we are not in church? But that did not answer my question about beating. But let me go to sis Annie. Sis Annie. Yeah. Let, 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 let Annie answer. Go, 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 Anyone respond because we have a second part. We have to go to the suspension, please. Even, even, even if I were not good at math, Josiah, you and I went to a competition and say a, a, a simple majority, and you got one for the six, I got one for the eight, I beat you. So, yes, I won Yama. I won Yama with two. What's that now? What's that now? Uh, guys, guys. Uh... Preliminary result. They got a result. I got a preliminary result. Uh, hello. Please hold on. Please hold on. We right, have, hold on, sis Annie. Hold on, sis Annie. Uh, we have a call. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, 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 okay. All right. I, I want to ask a question. Uh, uh, sis Annie and sis Kapo, it, 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 this is not hitting. We know that you guys, uh, uh, were suspended or you guys have been suspended, right? 
I have a question uh, um, regarding a suspension. And, and, and um, I was privileged, you know, we're privileged to have this information here. And I would just try to maximize the screen. I don't know if you all can see it. And it says that. Uh, no, 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 you are not there. Okay. Of all those who, are sus who were suspended, okay, uh, I have this question. And, 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 and correct me if I'm wrong. My understanding is that, um, or there's the information I got, uh, that Reverend Davis was suspended along with those that were, you know, those that were all part of the, sus the suspension list. Um, it is alleged that Reverend Davis was even, like, in front of Bishop, you know, there's, there's so, other, so much, uh, uh, like, some graphic description, but she was in front of Bishop and she was expressing her disc, you know, her, 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 her concern. And Reverend Davis was suspended for three months. And we had elections two, I think two months to, yeah, two months, two or three months just within that time was Reverend Davis was suspended for three months. But the rest of the team or a majority of you all were suspended for one year. I mean, is, is that true? Is that true that uh, uh, some people were suspended like for three months, or I mean, they were suspended for three months, and you guys were suspended for a year? Because I have a follow up question on that. Yes, for me, I was suspended for a year. Okay, you are suspended for a year. Yes. All right, and and Reverend David was suspended for two months. Three months. Yeah. And he also was suspended for a year. Yeah, for a year. So okay, so yes, so 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 this is it. And I was going, you know, when um, you guys were announcing the viewers. Okay. Well, we came from LTI on uh, the twentieth. Mm -hmm. The twenty second, I wrote the election commission, asking them that we went to election. They did not get final election results. They did not respond. That was the the twenty second. Then the, the, the first of April, I received a call from uh the Injala that we should go for fight funny at St. Andrew concerning what happened to LTR. He even asked me for a lot of people number. He will call me, give me your man number and your man Lola, give it, give me Jeru number, give, give me the not knowing the motive. Then the seven of April. I rewrote, but before the seven, I saw a letter that was written on April 5 from Bishop Sianglo. And I was forwarded by the district president to my inbox, inviting me to a, a problem solving meeting at uh, 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 St. Luke in Banga on April the 20th. Mm -hmm. Then on the seven, when I wrote, we, I mean, you know, asking election commission, this time was a complaint. I wrote the, the, the election commission, I copied the National Women, copied the Executive Council and Bishop Office. The moment that letter went, they, they called us to go for the hearing, uh, five funding. We went to St. Andrew. On the 18th, uh, sorry, on the 17th, I received suspension letter that was delivered by uh, and, uh, Naomi Ford and May Lauer. He said that day, they spoke my whole community. He started that ring. He gave a lot of letters. Oh, mommy. They, they, they gave the letter, they compared our pastor to give the letter. That letter was delivered on the 17th. And it was written on the 14th of April. I received it on the 17th. The moment I read that I instigated conflict at LTI, on the 18th, I responded to Bishop. Bishop Sianclo. That the the letter I received was not me. It was not me. That 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 which was indicated in the letter was not any. So I rejected the suspension. That was the 18th of April. The 20th we went to CB. Uh, when Bishop called, he said we should go solve the problem. He called all of the president. When we went to that meeting. Instead of solving the problem, he called a woman to tell them what he decided at LTI he went to reaffirm. 
They say, I call you to tell you that election results cancel. And I'm um, and Theodosia is gonna remain out there for one year until new leadership is set. Annie and Yama will not contest in the coming election. Those were three minutes. The women said, No, this is what we want. The, the, the council chair and the women president from Konya insisted. We've already made a decision, Bishop. What we will want, please, we don't even want election anymore. Our choice is Annie. Let Annie serve for this time. After we tell you, Yama can serve, then we can decide. Bishop said, I said, the one I said at LT, I'm saying, nothing happened. So the woman went with that frustration, but for me, I already written Bishop that I was not suspended because the first thing is he said I instigated. Number one, number two, and you know this is my appeal, and it is always my appeal. Even before Bishop Siyankulo, me Bishop Bishop Padmo could win. For me, I declare my support because the whole motive behind this suspension was to deny people to vote for their choices. But we still have influence. And my prayer was that Bishop Pano wins, and when he comes on board, he should be able to set an independent body to investigate the LTI case. I'm not concerned about suspension because I rejected that suspension. I told Bishop Sienkro it was not me. So there we are. Bishop suspended approximately 17 people, according to the list. The Injala called us for five funding. When we went for the five funding day today, I don't know the result. They said they came out result, the post and uh, uh, whatever they call it, uh, 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 investigation. How can you go to investigation when I, in fact, when I went out there, I saw a list laying down. I'm seeing witnesses. I'm seeing, uh, uh, what is the next thing? They said, uh, actors. So I saw my knee on the actor. Then I saw my knee on a witness. So I refuse to sign, to sign the paper. The boss said, no, when you go in there, they will explain to you. I said, but why my name on the other What do you mean? He said, no, I'm meeting, you know. So I found out from Dinjala, he said, no, that just the, the nomenclature, but it ain't mean anything. Before we could get there, they had called Nyama Boa and all the people are going to say, they call us as actors. So by the time we went there, the hour, what happened to LTI, we had split. It was so, the end we left. That say, was the say, end. Say, Annie, say, Annie, quick question, uh, uh, just a follow up. Why you think that um, those, because looking at the list here and the names that you're mentioning, um, were people who were supporting you. Why only those of your people were actors and those on Yamasa that I'm seeing most of the list here and, and those that were, you know, from the former administration, uh, not administration, but the leadership of the women are uh, uh, witnesses. Why, why, why you think so? So that was just that. That is just to indicate to you that the leadership went with a sad mind that Annie can never be president of the national women. So mm. anybody attached to Annie, you in trouble. And the simple reason was they said I did not come on my own. I was motivated by Revin. Rita Mira David to contest. And it was not true. Myself decided to contest. I called Theodosia that I wanted to contest. She buttressed my idea and she encouraged me to do. I met some pastors. The only thing some of the pastors would have I mean, told me was, including uh, uh, Reverend Cocker, was, you will have won if you are not linked with Reverend David. I said, I will win this election. So, it, it, so it, is it illegal? Is it illegal uh, um, to. I mean, David supporting you, in, uh, supporting anyone in an election in the LCL? In the history of Bishop Siangro, I think so, yes. I think so. Okay. Was, uh, one, one, of, one, of, one, of, one of wonderful information, sis Annie, thank you. Uh, sis Kopo, thank you. And like we have said, Willie has, has repeatedly said, Ambassador has emphasized, we are going to have uh, sis Nyamaboa and her team sit with us next Sunday. So we are putting them under the spotlight to get prepared next Sunday. We want to have them here. We will go through the same discussion because our interest here as a network is to ensure unity in our church. We want to do our possible best to ensure that the women come back together as before and let them, you know, strengthen their efforts, let them focus on their goals, their objectives, uh, let them ensure that there is a powerful women auxiliary in the National Lutheran Church 
in a way that it can support the efforts of the leadership. Uh, this is not what we want to be hearing, but in order for reconciliation to take place, this is important for people to discuss the burning issues, for people to talk about the circumstances, the causes of the division. That's the only way we'll be able to find a common ground realistically. Uh, so, Sis Annie, we want to thank you so much for all the so, information. So I, hope you're not, I hope you're not, hope you're not attempting to end uh, the show. We, we um, are... We are very much uh, happy to have you on. Uh, like I said, we're going to repeat this for Sis Nyama and, and the other team. But here is the thing. Um, are you aware of any concern with me uh, that's just been established and, and have also written the national leadership expressing some concerns? Are you guys aware? Are you guys part of anything like that, Sis Koppo? Sis Annie, are you there? All right, we're going to try to get Sis Annie. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Did you hear the question? Did you hear the question? Hello? Yes, hello. Did you hear the question? No. Are you okay, aware yes, of any yes, concern women? That's yes, my question, Sis Annie. And Sis Kapo, the question is to the both of you. You can take turns to answer. I am saying that we appreciate the fact that you accepted to come to sit with us to talk about this, because this is the first step to genuine reconciliation. And we want to know uh, why all these conversations and efforts are ongoing, whether or not you are part of any concerned women in the LCL uh, to the effect that they have written the national leadership uh, with some concerns. Are you guys part of that effort? Uh, I would say we are part of their concern, depending what they say, because we are the key players in the whole process. Uh, what happened at LTI, Josiah, a lot of the women are not happy. And like I no, said, uh, Sis Annie, uh, uh, you know, sorry for the interruption. Sorry for the interruption. But my question is the right. There is a new development. And, and I learned that prior to the start of the show. You know, I, I wanted to ask the question. I didn't want it to. I didn't want us to confuse that with the subject of the discussion. That's why I'm bringing it at this point of the conversation. I'm asking as to whether or not you and Sis Kopo are members. It's a direct question. Are members of the yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, quote unquote concerned women? You know, with concerns and to the effect that they have written the national leadership with a set of concerns. Whether or not you guys are members of that group. I can come here, right? Yes. Oh. Um, yes. Yes, she on? Yeah, she's on, but you can go yes. ahead. Kabo. Yes, yes. That group, I'm fully aware of it, and I'm a full member of it. You know, these things come about when people are hurt, when people are marginalized, right? Like the last conversation, Annie said, wearing uh, the, the former bishop called them a Phoebe. And at the end of his conversation, he said, the both of them should not run, right? In any upcoming election. But now they are giving the privilege to Yama to run, and Annie is not running. Yama and her whole team running. They gave him the privilege. So we met and we said, but Bishop said this. Then why this is going on? And you won't believe it, but we're waiting for that communication to come. Or Red Market said, Red Market has that communication. But they said it will go through circular. So we're waiting for that circular to come up. The Bishop Emeritus wrote saying, the statement he made at Phoebe, it was an error. Nyama did not do nothing. So they should allow Nyama to run. It's not more conflict to that. Can, so can I say say no. We said no, so we saw less of a uh, uh, signature of our own man because you know they can listen to all when we talk. Those same people voted for us and we explained that to them. And the Oman and they are better. They said, We'll contract with me, yeah, and in our country, we more, yeah, so maybe we we'll, uh, love you, our country, Oman. And I, as I learned, a few of them were scored and they admitted, Yes, we signed our paper, nobody signed for us. Yeah. Okay, I got so, a couple, couple, mm -hmm. couple. I got, a, I got, a, I got. A, before you, before you go further, I got a question, and 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 I would just want to 
put out the disclaimer that for us, we are all Lutheran and we, we, we don't see country, we don't see native, we don't, we all want Lutheran. Sorry, I just want to put out this disclaimer. I just want to, I just want to put out this disclaimer that uh, that statement is your view, is is Annie's view, is not our network. Uh, we are all Lutherans, and we don't see any country, we don't see any native, we don't see any queer or any civilized. We are all Lutherans. But I, 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 I want to say something going further uh, uh, to you. Uh, like Annie said, that we should call her Annie McLean Flomo. Do we have any Yama Boa and Yama Lao in our church that you know of? Or many other Yamans? Yes, we got Yama Boa from Partnersville, Yama El Boa from Partnersville Parish, uh, Yama Lao, Yama Lodia. I know Yama. Yama Lola. No, yama, yama, yama Lola. This is Yama Lola. 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 Yama Lola. 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 She's on the street. Yama Lola. Yama Yama K Lola. So could it be Lola? Could it be? Could it be? Could it be? I just I just I just saying on top of my head. Could it be that um, the bishop? I hope we we'll find the communication. But could it be that the bishop uh, and many other persons might have been thinking that uh, the bishop referring to? To one of the Yamans, and so he decided to clarify in 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 whatsoever circles you're talking about. I, I just want to find out from you. Then you can you can continue with continue so with. Do I, do I, I don't want to believe that because Bishop Bishop say I'm gonna know Sinyama Boa well. Sinyama Lola, he knows her well. And one thing, let me say this. Let me say this. There 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 is something we should be careful. Of. All of the time Yama spoke, right? She did not exclude Naomi for wasting for everything that she said. My girlfriend, my girlfriend said this. My girlfriend told me to fire in protest and I fire in protest again. She like, oh, even help me write a letter. You imagine it was Bishop Sankolo who told Yama protest letter and carried to the election commission to say Sarah and Sarah Sarah told you, Bishop, sure you are not the one to bring a protest letter here. Yeah? Back are you kidding us now? Seriously, I'm telling you. Okay. Yeah. So okay. We, 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 okay. We just, couple, we, we, sis couple, sis couple, thank you for the direct answer to my question as to whether or not you guys are members of the uh, concerned Lutheran uh, women. Um, but that that leads to this question, which I think is very significant. I, I don't want you guys to meander. I don't want you guys to beat around the bush. I don't want you guys to say, you know, anything contrary to the response we are looking for. I have a direct question to the two of you. And I'm going to ask the Yamaboa team when they come here at the end of our conversation, the same question. Uh, do you guys think that this conflict can be resolved so that we can move past it? Do you guys believe that it can be resolved or not? I just want... Uh, yes or no answer, so I can move to the next question, please. Do you guys believe it can be resolved genuinely? Yes, it can be resolved. Yeah, the writing is done. Excellent. And what is that writing, which is my next question? What is your own proposal for the way forward? I want you guys to say it from within. from from Because, look, the entire church is monitoring this discussion today. The amount of messages that I have on my phone from Lutherans, both at home and abroad, is overwhelming. I have never had it in our year and half of running this show. I have never had such. This is they are saying things with with passion. I want you people to speak from within, sis Annie uh, and the bishop. Everybody is listening, is monitoring this show. I want you people to speak from within. Tell Lutherans what do you want in terms of strategy or approach to resolve this issue. I want you to be realistic that when it's employed, you will follow and we will resolve this issue. What could be that approach that you are proposing? Okay, okay for my end, for my end, they both sense, in fact, 
Bishop said the both of them should stay out of the race. Let the both of them stay out of the race. Let the law for neutral persons to spare to 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 stir the affairs of the women for the next because we already gone one year within the three years. For the next two years, in the mende, they bring uh, peace among the women. The constitution issue is settled. Then we go for election. For me, that's the way forward. But allowing one person to run and another person is not running, it still won't solve the problem. Let the both of them step aside. Let a neutral person come in to stay the affair for the next two years and settle the peace among the women and review the constitution and make any amendment. Then from there, we move the women forward. So, Kapo, your realistic position is that yes. uh, Sis Nyama Boa and Sis Annie McLean Flomo should step aside from the whole leadership issue at the presidential level and a neutral person assume the responsibility and that there should be a constitutional reform as a way of resolving the issue, correct? Yes. Sis Annie, over to you. Okay, thank you. Uh, number one is, what I will appreciate that Bishop Patmo set up an independent body to investigate what happened to LTR because there has been no investigation from our end and they said we were suspended. Uh, number two, because Bishop uh, Pat Bishop Sianglo report captured eight people that were suspended. And we will receive letter, we were approximately 17. So that investigation will help us to know why Bishop reported eight suspension and we got 17 people receiving letter because it has something to do with our character and our integrity will build over the period. So if there's independent body that will investigate them, we get to know how come approximately 17 people receive letter of suspension, then you got only eight captured in Bishop Sianclo report. That's one. The next one is, let the women be listened to. The women made decision on March 19, Nyama Boa was never voice. Bishop canceled that result. And they have come back to say, okay, we agree to that. But the way forward is that for the sake of peace, let the both of them stay as step aside, let neutral people carry the women for the remaining two years. So what, what will be best is that we have people who won. For example, Annie Topa from Banga. She won as vice president. She can lead the women and, and the, the other group that won from the other side, they all join and lead the women for the remaining two years until they expect reconciliation. I think if that happens, it will help it will help a lot to unite the women. I have a, I have a direct question. So, yeah, before you come with your question, Willie, let me just paraphrase because we're doing this. It's important. It's not just us. We are asking the question. They are on RFE and leaders, policy makers are following and other uh, uh, well many Lutherans are following who are engaged with this ongoing reconciliation process and probably it could be a help with their processes. So uh, Sis Annie is practically saying that Bishop Patmo, and she said from the outset that was one of the reasons why she strongly supported Bishop Patmo because she believes that Bishop Patmo will be able to establish an independent investigative body to investigate the LTR National Women Convention saga. So she is repeating that her genuine approach or proposal to the leadership is to set up an independent investigative body to investigate the matter. Second, she is suggesting the same thing couple suggested, that the two women should step aside so that somebody can take over the affairs of the women until the next election. So, um, Sis Annie, Sis Kopo, these are your realistic proposals that you are making regarding the way you want this issue to be resolved, correct? Yes, for my end. Okay. Yeah. All right, Wally, brother Wally. Yeah. Yeah, I have a, I have a question. Um, just before coming on, uh, and I thought to leave this very last question, and it's a direct question to both of you. Um, I gather that a team or the Annie group 
has planned to destabilize the convention, um, the upcoming convention. <laughs> yeah, has planned. Yeah, uh, the, 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 so the, the reason why I'm asking this question is because of that concerned women group that if if uh, Yama is allowed to contest, um, any group is going to disturb. Is that true? It's going to disturb the convention. Um, Wedi, yep. I, I, I don't know where people can get that information from. But they see it. Let me take it back. They see okay, it. Hold on, one hold on one second, Kapo. Kapo, Ani, Ani, Ani wants to get the question. Uh, and, and, and the question here is, uh, 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 says Ani, is it true that a group in the name of Annie's camp, have planned to stage a disturbance at um, the upcoming women convention if Yama is allowed to contest. Uh, it's not to my knowledge. Okay. My, my women are not violent people. Okay. They will have experienced that in, in LTR. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Yes, fair enough. Thank you. Thank you very much. I just wanted to make sure that is um, clear out there. Yeah. That is our Thank you, Willie. Of, ambassador is not to be ambassador. We'll never do that. Ambassador, are you muted? We can't hear you, Ambassador. Can I, can I, can, wait, let me tell me I'm uh, having a call on that too. Yeah, go ahead. Um, like Annie said, it is not we we, are, we we it's not to our knowledge, and we will never do that. We will not be seeking reconciliation or seeking peace. They are the same that will be disturbing. They see they having a LCA convention. They have all the armed men and said we are going to disturb Imagine Convention. So I don't know where they can get that la la information from. My pastor confronted me one time on side. He said, couple they say you made no, he said they say you. He said, I made three three remarks because I said salala will be hot. So I said, yes, I said salala will be hot because of constitution issue. You know, a few weeks ago they put when they saw that a constitution amendment a day and they circulated it to all of the parishes. They probably are not still waiting to learn or to 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 learn from what happened in the past. We still continue to repeat our seeing old mistakes, our seeing old mistakes. They are not all for peace. They are not just all for peace. Wow. Oh, okay. Um, um, sis couple, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, um, you know, Willie, we got a comment in there from sis Julia Masakwe. She said it repeatedly, and I think sis okay. Victoria Johnson also asked the question. We need to let, find let me follow up with sis Julia. It says sis Julia Masakwe. It says, Yeah, about... we need to, find way. yeah, yeah. This is a please request for the video recording on that Sunday, uh, service at LTR. Yeah, we never um, gave uh, we we will find a way no sis couple on this show we can't say never you know sis couple you are, <laughs> you are aware we can get request for it. For it. and uh, they haven't given a bishop of a request for it he get it they're not <laughs> no but <laughs> sis couple disregard that this we, is we gonna get it that's a different thing. uh, <laughs> uh ambassador, ambassador is is over to you sis julia will do our best to find a video we are interested in it as well um uh, um ambassador yeah over to you Ambassador, I hope your audio is okay now. When you are speaking first, we couldn't hear you. All right. Um, Ambassador, you are muted. Uh, go ahead, Ambassador. Oh. Yeah. You okay now? The Ambassador okay now? Willie? Um, we are not hearing the ambassador. I think we 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 having he's having. Some oh, I think he he's having a technical issue. He just indicated. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. 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 So um, be, maybe, we can start to, to, uh, maybe we can start to wrap up. But right. But uh, uh, um, Bijou, I think it's important to note. Uh, um, mm -hmm. it's important to also note that um, since eleven, almost eleven months ago, we've been trying every effort to have both parties appear on the platform. And um, we are glad that, you know, uh, Sis Army team is here today. And we are very much um, hopeful that next Sunday we're going to have Sis Ani and those from her team to provide some information. Uh, and I also want to um, put this information up that I met Sis Yama I'm talking about Sis Yama. I met Sis Yama in Philadelphia. 
during Alia conference, and she uh, expressed um, her willingness to appear. So with this show today, we are hoping that next Sunday we will have Sisiyama and the team on the show. I just wanted to put that forth. Wonderful. And I think Ambassador is also making some inroads uh, uh, in, in that respect. So we are very optimistic that Sis Yama Boa and her team will come and sit with us. Uh, we are highly interested in hearing from them. Like we said, we want a balanced situation here. Uh, we right. want the two sides to be heard equally. And that right. will also have all those involved with the reconciliatory process. Uh, the, the trauma healing program that is intervening, the bishop and his leadership that are making so much effort uh, to make sure that the women, you know, are united. And every other individual Lutheran who's making efforts, I think this will be helpful to them. This public discussion about what transpired. This is our church. We're no longer in an archaic era. Uh, we cannot be talking reconciliation and we're doing behind the same stuff. It's good for people to talk it out. That alone, you know, uh, uh, is 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 a remedy for by itself. It's it's just a, a medication all by itself. You know, it help to ease uh, the situation, the tension, and everything. That Kopo is hurt today. I think she feels satisfied to some extent. That Annie is hurt today. I think she also feels satisfied to some extent. Uh, that Sis Nyama will come and sit here to be her. I think she's also going to feel satisfied. And whoever is going to sit with her will also feel satisfied. Like that way, they are ready to attend to any reconciliatory talk in a genuine uh, uh, manner. So, um, uh, folks, there you have it. Ambassador is having uh, some technical issues, Willie. Uh, yeah. uh, Ambassador, one more time. Ambassador, you good? We need to hear from you before we go. Are Hello? You no, no, yeah, no, we can no, hear you now, there Ambassador. You <laughs> there you go. <laughs> joy, 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 joy. And, and joy. Sis Annie is back on the line with us. Well, that's cheese. <laughs> so, so, yeah, that, that, that is what we need. You don't host yeah, today, Papa, you guess. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Just hold on, just hold on, Sis Annie. Keep acting like a guest and stop talking like us. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Sis Annie. Papa, you on a hard bench today, please. Sis Annie, Sis Annie, we gave her last comment, and uh, it was supposed to be Kapo, but Kapo has a privilege. Kapo is a host here and a guest, so Sis Annie, we gave her her party comments before Kapo. So, Ambassador, if you have question to ask Sis Annie, please do now before she gave her final comment. No, you, 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 you hit the nail on the head when you talk about her, when you ask them of of the way forward. Uh, uh, I just wanted to make a comment before before they, uh, they, they make their comment to leave to say that with all that we have heard, we want to beg the indulgence of the, the, the Aniflomos side that um, let us put Christ at the center as we go through uh, our processes. We understand that we are human and, and things do happen. But um, sometimes, you know, um, you can always fight for the right. Sometimes you, you like you, you allow a supernatural force intervene for you. Uh, I understand that uh, we are humans, but uh, let us just try to see how we can be able to amicably resolve the situation. Uh, I hope that the bishop listening will take note uh, kindly of your proposal in trying to address the situation. And I hope that we'll be able to see how Bishop, we trust his leadership ability, and he's our chief shepherd, and we know for the way that with his ingenuity, the problem can be resolved, taking into consideration the best approach uh, available to him. I just wanted to state that and to say, to say, to say that uh, I'm happy that you guys could avail yourself. And I hope the emphasis that uh, Joe has been making and waiting. I'm very, very sure that the Yamas team will appear. Uh, I just wanted to make that uh, that that can appeal to you, to you both. So Annie, it's yours now to, to yeah, give us Annie, you your two minutes to um, give your closing comment, then we'll go to Sis Kapo. Just two minutes, please. Thank you so much. Uh, let me first say sorry to the, the youth and that of the kids of the LCL because we serve our role model. And I think our action uh, is something that should motivate them and not, should not to discourage them. And everything we are doing, we are sorry, but 
it was instigated by uh, the outgoing bishop who really left us at this kind of conflict. And we pray that God will intervene. But like when, uh, one of our brothers said, we are human beings, but we also depend on Christ uh, to, 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 to encourage us, strengthen us. You cannot continue rubbing one area over and over. It will cause so I am a human being. I have been hurt. Those who are behind it, Nyama should run, Nyama should run. Should know that they are dealing with two groups, one from Ani, one from Yama. Ani won and they canceled the election. Nyama did not win and they want Nyama to run. You know there will be conflict. So to avoid it, listen to the women. Let Nyama and I stay here. For me, I'm not desperate. We can stay away the next election, Nyama and I go. They should not, Nyama should not be afraid for she and I to go to election. We can stay, meet, and talk. Since you're so desperate, then you can take over after the peace. But since the woman wants us to stay aside for the love of the woman, uh, salary, two of us can stay aside, and then the group will enter the bishop office, please. Like I heard, there's a letter from Bishop Sianclo that he made a mistake on one of his mandates. Bishop is out of office. He should not be mandating Bishop Padmo office. If it was a mistake, executive council, according to uh, Bishop, uh, uh, BA, the Bishop assistant, the executive council had already made a decision on the three mandate to have been implemented. He cannot come back to say one was a mistake. So it tells us that everything I done at LTI was intentional. So if they implement two and leave one, it will be building a conflict more and more. So since the woman want us to stay aside, for me, I agree. I'm willing to stay aside for the sake of peace. Let the women go to, to, to their convention and let's set uh, neutral people. Those who want uh, the lower position, let them lead the women for the remaining two years and we all see how best we can reunite. Thank you so much for the, the, the service. Thank you for allowing us to speak out. We appreciate Ali and we hope that we all will support the peace. And we hope that this should not be your last time. We, we you, you are always welcome. Thank you. Yeah, since we, Annie, we, we, since Annie, I like I like the end of your final comments because uh it, we had to do blood tests to 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 have you on the show here today. <laughs> you you <laughs> When he, when he say, I don't know why she doesn't want to turn up. I yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm glad I says Annie is here today because I, that's, my, my, that's, this is my sister from see Matthew. So that's anyway, wonderful. We'll that family matter from here. But, well, but, but well, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad I'm well, like, well, like their family to you. Yeah, well, I don't know why you well, 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 Oh, God. Yeah. Everybody, Everybody will be really, 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 really. No, no, no. Listen. Bijo, Bijo. Bijo, can you please listen to Sis Annie? Go ahead, Sis Annie. Joseph, mm -hmm. we are family from Zimbabwe, but you know I was a bit mad at Willie because the LTR thing. Even Akima was six different episodes in this chat room explaining what happened is that no one was listening to me. I really, really broke down. People were only running with the information and not willing to listen yeah, to what know. happened. So especially when Willie said that, oh, you don't want to appear because it's, uh, everything is saying is true about you. So I said, okay. And that's why I just thought I'd just be out of the whole thing. So I was not happy from the onset. But then God couple brought me on board. I think I appreciate it. It's good that our people actually know what happened and, and so that it cannot go like it has been going in Roma. People, people have started lying in the church, and I pray that the spirit of lying will leave the Lutheran church, because Lutheran is one of the institutions that is highly respected. So, so, and so, so that, that and will it, will it, will not ask a question to your answer. No, 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 no. I'm not asking. I just want to make sure that she and I have reconciled. That's all. So we have reconciled. <laughs> this, honey. No, we shouldn't do the reconciliation and they go on Saturday dialogue. Okay. Let's go for it. Okay. Okay. So it means okay. that since Annie, since Annie reconciled with you, yeah, well, you better pick out the phone after the show. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Oh, after you. the show, we reconciled. That's my sister from Simba. Okay, I want to, I want to say thank you to the team. Thank you so much, Alice. We have heard, you know, since I came from LT, I, I don't, I, I, I just don't know. Every time I think on this, I'm broken. 
But then I always encourage him and say, I say, encourage yourself in the law. I'm always. And someone said, oh, couple, they say, you rude. I say, me rude. I told people, I said, I have worked with the most um, critical group, the National Lutheran Youth Fellowship. And not all day, I was named, was heard for bad things. Then they with me where everybody, we are mature and everything. Then people say this. But I just want to say this to the church, to all of us. This is a church. Let us be frank with each other. Let us please, when things happen, let us investigate. Be sure we are begging you, set up this committee. Ask for the video recording. See, we have video recording from day one to day last. See what went on at LTR. Madam President, I'm appealing to you. Please. See what went on. Give the video to our bishop. Let it investigate. Because people character matters a lot. Like one time I told someone, I said, the day I apply for a job, anywhere, and I go for an interview, a person say, couple of the chairs suspend you. I said, okay, rather I will sue the Lutheran chair in the <laughs> and so, I said, why you do? I said, yes, I will, because my character matters a lot. So I just want to say thank you. And there is a church. We are not planning anything evil for our church. Like I tell people, I will leave the Lutheran church. I will live here. I will die here. My friend, I want to couple. Everything about you is Lutheran. Everything about me is Lutheran. I don't know any other church but the Lutheran church. So I will not hurt my church, but let the writing be said. Let the writing be done. In how much I'm suspended, but I'm still active with my church. In fact, I don't even count that I'm suspended. I just don't count that. I'm saying at the woman parish, the only player I slow down on is at the, the district with me, and for which they recognize that I'm suspended, so they don't bother. So myself, I don't bother anybody, but I'm working with my church, and I'm actively involved with my church. I pay all of my contribution, both parish and district level. So let us please look into it. Please talk to the team that carry on the reconciliation. Let it look at it. You need to be heard. You need to talk. Let everything out before we can reconcile. Ali, we have spoken. People have heard us and relaxed a little bit. We don't want for our women department to fall apart. We can say our slogan say unity in the law. Together we can make it. Together we can make it. One person cannot make it in Jesus' name. So I want to tell you people, thank Amen. you. Amen. Amen. This Amen. Is... Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Uh, this is this is wonderful. This is extraordinary uh, to have women who are hurt um, about a particular issue to come here to be willing to talk about it. Simply sends a clear message that they are interested in the resolution of the matter. Were you guys not interested, you wouldn't have even accepted our invite to be sitting here today to discuss the matter to this length, to go in detail, to give us the historicity and all of the major highlights and issue matter. It means that you guys are leaders. See yourselves as leaders. See yourselves as people who are still strongly, firmly committed to the ideals of our church the physical and spiritual growth of our that's what i want you guys to see yourselves uh to be that's why you have demonstrated here today and and we are really happy because we think this is the actual beginning of genuine reconciliation i could be wrong ambassador uh willie i am not sure that sis annie and couple have had the opportunity <clears throat> to really sit to discuss in depth as they have done here today on this show i think this is the actual beginning of genuine reconciliation within the women's auxiliary in our church. And I think that the policy makers, the, the national leadership of the church should take advantage, should tap into this and see how they can bring an end to this matter in a peaceful way, in an amicable way, as Jerry would say. I think this is a great opportunity for all of us in the church. And I want to also encourage the women. I'm, I'm following many of the comments here, and I really appreciate Sis Victoria uh, uh, Nangwe Johnson. She is doing extremely well talking about the fights on both sides and saying some of the things that actually happen and what needs to be done. I would just entreat other women seriously to follow the same pat uh, pattern of Sis Victoria Nangwe Johnson to contribute to the amicable resolution of this matter. You don't, no need for people to be throwing shares now. No need for people to be throwing shades, for people to be making comments that are unnecessary, that will deflate the process. I think it's about time for women to come and put their act together. Because like Sis Annie said, 
they're supposed to be role models, but she believes that their uh, actions in the recent past have not played that role. She had to apologize to the younger ones. This is something that all the women in the Lutheran church should really take very seriously and help to resolve this issue. Again, we promise we will sit with Sis Nyama and her team. We will have the same frank, realistic conversation here. We will give them the leverage. They will go ahead and discuss what they believe they saw, the witness they participated in, and what their recommendations are. We are going to do that because what we are interested in as a network is peace, is reconciliation, is growth and development of the Lutheran Church in Liberia. That's what we are interested in. We want to help to accomplish that. And we think when we do that, we are going to satisfy Jesus in terms of his mission that he charged us to. And that is our core responsibility as a network. That's why we are here. So it's, that's it for, from my end. I will go over to my two colleagues, that's Jerry and Willie. We also have, have, have a co-host, Deca Missone. <laughs> No, no, we will, we will no, decide. We will decide no, that. But, um, no, 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 you, you not part, you're not co host. Please, you are viewer. You are a viewer, you are a viewer next Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> you are a viewer. Uh, ambassador, I, 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 let, let me do my closing so I don't forget something. Uh, yeah, um, then a permanent person. Ambassador, yeah, ambassador will close us today. Ambassador started. A permanent person sent me something here, and the person mm -hmm. said that um, I'm leaving, meaning that, you know, going to bed now because it's late in Liberia. He says, that I'm leaving, but I want to warn that if we do not take care of the power struggle among the women in the LCL, there will be a great membership exodus. This is very important. Very, very important. A permanent person just sent me this text message. Um, you know, I joined my um, fellow, you know, host to just send a message of peace to all of our mothers. Um, you know, sometimes when, 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 when it gets to some point, I become a little emotional, but I want to speak to Sis Kopo directly. Um, Sis Kopo, I've known you since our youth days, even when we went out for youth work and, you know, people are assigned lodging, you know, we all, like every one of us, we just decide to lodge together. We will eat together. We will do everything. Uh, I'm not here. I'm not going to take too much of time. But since you, since you know, you said that you are Lutheran, and every you know part of you is Lutheran, and I believe it's because of the work of our Lord Jesus. But I just want to add, Sis Kopo, that, and I know you. Since and, and I, I must admit here, I've been suspended from going to the, the youth office. So hearing that you know, Kopo is suspended. I mean, it really, really got to me. And and I really spoke with her personally, and she explained all of it. So it is really shocking to me. But I want to encourage you not to give up on the word because this is something that is part of you. Uh, and I know that. Once you choose, like the path that you're choosing right now, the path to peace, once you continue to choose the path to peace, our dear brother, our dear brother, brother Gono will be, you will be at peace. So I just, I, I just want to speak to you personally. We all work together in the youth. And we find ourselves in the men and women as well as. So, please, for the sake of peace, please choose the path of peace. I'll just start right there. Thank you. <clears throat> Go ahead, Ambassador. Ah, uh, Woody. Woody, you always can send us. Yeah. Oh, witty. I mean, when I always think on the brother, you know, witty. Yeah, I feel I'm, I'm sharing I'm tears sorry. like you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Um, a couple, uh, says Annie, if you stay on the phone, the Lutheran Church is the only church that we have. 
and it is to us to save the image of this church. We know that men will fail, but we got our comforter, who is our strength, to keep us going. We want to thank you, says Anne. We want to thank you, says couple, for availing yourself. Bishop, listen. Other prominent people listen. We also strive to get Sis Yama and her side to come next Sunday so that we can also listen to them. And we hope that we'll be able to find some way forward before your convention this March. I want to say thank you to our viewers. And I don't want to say much so it cannot sound repetitive. Mm. But with God, all things are possible. Thank you so much, colleagues.